Now, the Indian aviation tycoon Vijay Malia has appeared at Westminster Magistrates Court here in London to face an extradition request from India. Mr Malia has been accused of fraud involving a series of loans linked to the now defunct airline Kingfisher, of which he was managing director. He denies all the allegations. Let's get more from the BBC World Service reporter Rahul Joglaka, who was in court watching those proceedings earlier in the day. Take me through it. What actually happened inside court and outside too? Sure, uh, Matthew. So uh, what an extraordinary situation, you know, just a few, you know, short distance from where we are sitting at the moment, uh, Indian newspaper headlines are being written about this one man, Vijay Malia. And, and the reason is uh, he uh, is so closely watched in India because he's accused by the Indian government of two things, money laundering and fraud. As he entered the courtroom today, a media scrum, an extraordinary, I mean, we're used to media scrums, but this one was really extraordinary, about 30 camera crews following his every move. And, uh, and, and, oh, and yes, this is a, uh, this is a story that, that is being watched really closely in India, as I said. And uh, why? Because in his heyday, this man was known as the Richard Branson of India, uh, the aviation tycoon who owned, uh, who led a very glamorous life, who owned Kingfisher Airlines, uh, one of the most successful airlines. But things turned when uh, the airline went bust and people stopped lending him money. After that, he came and uh, came to London in March of 2016, and that's when Indian authorities said that they revoked his passport and started extradition proceedings to get him back to India. They accuse him of uh, owing 600 million pounds uh, to Indian banks. He has consistently uh, denied allegations and said that he's innocent. Uh, just one sentence: the timeline on these proceedings here in London. What that is? What is that likely to be? So uh, the hearings have started today, and they continue for the next few days. Uh, we are told that by next week uh, on the 13th of December will be the last hearing but whether the extradition uh, case has been successful or not we come to know that only uh, in the early part of next year. Rahul thanks for taking us through what happened in the court here in London. Let's head